G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I'm going to do this mould today, something a little bit different. Now, I've seen a couple of videos, there's not many out there, I've been looking on how to do these, but the videos that I did see, the girls, in my opinion, did them incorrectly. This, this has got the lower part here this is this is the sides if you flip it over um, it's got these crossbars you know to to hold the the mold in place so it doesn't sag and then we've got these terraces on the sides here these it's higher here and it's lower here but what people have been doing that i've seen is they've been pouring their resin their colored resin straight in here um, like the beachy color here there's a bit of fluff or something beachy color here um, and then they've been putting their different color waters in here but the way this mold is supposed to work is you flood this entire surface with one color whichever color you want in today for me i'm going to do like a sandy color so i'm going to use um, a cream pigment paste and a white pigment paste both from lorez this one is white sand and this is angel white so I'm going to use these two I haven't decided if I'm going to mix them together yet just to make one color or whether I'm going to do two and then kind of pour to get different um, sort of patterns and things so when that's done when it's set you peel it out then what you get is this reverse side obviously without the crossbars this reverse side with these terraces um, and then you pour your water into that. Does that make sense? I hope so. But anyway, you'll see as I go along. But the first thing we need to do is I need to work out how much resin this is going to hold. So come with me. Um, I'm going to show you how to work out how much resin it takes. We're going to have a little walk into the kitchen. So I'm going to go around there and I'll set you back up next to the sink. Okay, so here we are in my kitchen. There's my kitchen sink. Now, here's the mold. I'm just going to lay that in there. Now, the reason I'm doing it in the sink is, I need to make sure that we're covered there so we can see the bottom. Yep. Yeah. The reason I'm doing it in the sink is if I try to fill this with water, and I'm going to use water to see how much resin it holds if i was to put this on the bench or somewhere or out in my studio and then you know it was full of water how on earth am i going to pick it up and and carry it over and dump it so i think if you just lay it in the sink <laughs> noisy birds outside um it's gonna be much easier all right i've got some water i have got two cups so let's pour that in and basically see how much it's going to hold hey I'm hoping it's not going to be more than two cups. So I'm going to turn this into a tray. I think it would look really nice um, in a tray with handles. Getting close. Getting close. Getting close. Okay. Not quite. See, there's a little, little island here that hasn't got any water on it yet. So let's do... Uh, let's just do another, I'm going to do another half a cup. That's half. That's a little bit over. These are, these are good if you're measuring liquids, you know. Well, excuse me, magpie. I'm trying to video here. He's sitting outside looking at me. All right, here we go. Pour the rest in. This is another half a cup. Over here as well. This bit here is not covered with water either. It might be a little bit difficult for you to see from up there, but okay, no, still not done. So we're gonna go another half a cup. So that'll take it up to three cups. Let's put it over here so I can have a look. Alright, so this is another half a cup now, so three cups. Didn't think it would take that much. But uh, I'd rather know now than <laughs> Get halfway through the pour and then not have enough. I'm going to spread that to the edges. Okay, so it's all covered now and 
It's a bit hard to see because I'm looking straight down, but I think it's I think it's almost to the top. Almost to the top. So three cups. Three cups. Okay, so like as I said, if we were if we were having this on the bench somewhere and trying to pick it up, obviously, you know, it would not work. So just tip the water out. Give it a shake. Now I'm going to take this back into the studio and I'm going to dry it just on um, on cold air with my hairdryer because I don't want to wipe it because I don't want any streak marks from any kind of cloth on there, okay? Because you may you may leave marks on it. So I'm just going to dry it with the with the hairdryer. Give it a bit of a blow dry. All right. Um, I'll come back to you when I'm ready to pour. Hope that helped. Okay, guys, I'm back. I dried it off with my hair dryer. Now, taking it over to the sink and uh, filling it with water might sound like the sensible thing to do, but believe me, I have, uh, and I'm embarrassed telling you, I have put like a big mold on my bench here, filled it with water, measured it, and then gone, ah, oh, how do I get the water out? <laughs> So I've got a towel and I've had to put the towel in and soak up all the water. So, duh. <laughs> so, yeah, I've done it. But anyway, much easier taking it over to the sink. Learn the hard way, hey? Now, <clears throat> I've got two big cups of resin mixed up. I'm using, because this is a deep mould, it's um, 12 millimetres deep, which is almost half an inch. Um, I'm not using the one I would normally use for coasters, the 360 plus, even though it sets up really fast and I'd love to, you know, finish this today. Um, I'm a bit concerned about the depth and the size of it and it flash curing and maybe sticking to the mold. So um, I got this new mat, but it's, see it's creased where it's um, been folded. I don't know if it's going to make a difference to my actual pour. I might have to don't know maybe the weight of the resin will sit it down I'm not sure anyway back to the resin um i'm using oh this is this big heavy one platinum ultra clear um two reasons a it's cheaper <laughs> and because I've, I've actually mixed up four cups um and it takes much longer to to set up it doesn't go hot see if this was the 360 plus in a big two cups of resin it would be hot already so i mixed that for five minutes and then I mixed this one for five minutes. So what I did was I did 350 grams of A and 150 grams of B. And that's given me 500 grams in each. So about two cups. Because when I measured with the water, um, you know how I added that extra half cup? It kind of went a bit over the half cup because I just kind of splashed it in. So I did end up having... A little bit more and then same with the second half cup ended up with a little bit more so I thought oh look I'm just gonna mix up more um, and then um, if I've got a little bit of extra it won't matter I'll just use it somewhere else so I've got two cups I'm actually just going to wipe my stick and then I can dip it back into that white paste so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a cup of white and a cup of cream i'm probably going to use quite a lot of this now because it's a big cup i'm going to need some more susanna look i'm nearly using it all um susanna danks i got this from larez expressions that's the angel white so i'll give that a stir actually i might do the other one and then i can stir offline it's going to take me a few minutes to stir those and you don't want to be watching me stirring resin, do you? So now I'm going to make up my cream. And I don't want the cream quite as dark as what the actual pigment paste is. So I'm going to probably put half white and half cream. This one, as I said, it's um, called white sand. But I just don't want it quite as sandy looking. So I'm going to do half. Now I need another stick, don't I? Half of that, I'm going to get another stick, and half again with the white, just to, just to mute that colour ever so slightly. Okay, now I've got two sticks in there. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to mix those up, 
Can I mix with two sticks? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I've never done that before. Oh my gosh, a two stick mix. Let's see what color we get. So there's that one. And then I need to mix more white as well. So I'm just going to put you on pause. I'm going to mix those up. Because I've got to stir slowly. Oh, get my glove off. And um, I'll come back to you in a minute. Or five. Okay, that's mixed up. Actually, I can see a little bit of white sitting on the side of my cup there that I haven't mixed properly. Now, looking at these, I love this creamy colour here. The white, I'm thinking, is just going to be a little bit too stark for what I'm wanting. I'm going to add a little bit of the cream. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit unsure, actually, whether to do two different colours, but I'm going to have a try. Now, I just want to add a little bit of this white sand, just a little bit to my white, just so I haven't got it quite so white stark white I'm just going to wipe my stick and then I can dip it in here let's just we'll start just with a tiny bit see how that goes so I'm basically going to pour both of these in kind of like a dirty pour you know like a ribbon pour <laughs> if you were doing acrylic pouring that's just taken the edge off that white there I better hold it up here so I'm not shaking the table Maybe a little bit more. Just wipe the tip of my stick so I can get that in there. That should be fine now, hopefully. All right, let's mix that in. And still, my cups are not getting hot yet, which is great. So it's a good resin to use if you're going to do a big job. I could never use like an art coat resin, like a, a top coat. Um, for such a big job, it would just flash cure. You know when your resin just goes really rock hard and starts smoking and bubbling and all that kind of stuff <laughs> that you don't want? Um, that's just because, you know, it's it sets up really quickly, especially in a big, tall cup like that. It gets really hot. It sets really quickly in a, in a big cup. So make sure you, for this sort of job that you're using a casting resin and not a coating resin. All right, there's a difference. I have different sorts of resins for different jobs, depending on what I'm doing. All right, so I'm happy with that. That's just like a milky, creamy sort of a color. Um, and then that one's got a little bit more beige in it, obviously. Get rid of that little paper towel there. I'm just going to clean my hands because I've got some resin on my gloves. Quick squirt of alcohol onto a baby wipe. Clean my hands, get that resin off. All right, you guys. Now, obviously, this is good. When I turn it over, this is going to be the water, and then the sand will be on the sides. I'm just making sure we're still taping. I'm just going to move that one away. So. You know when you go to the beach, the wet sand closer to the um, water is darker. So I think I'll do that. I'll put a little bit of the darker through here and then I'll put the lighter on the edge. And then I'm just going to fill it up with just whatever really. All right, here we go. Oh, wish me luck. So that's going to be there. And then this one, the lighter one can just kind of be here. Same on this side, a lighter one here, but they'll blend. And then when I pour the top on, it's going to blend as well. So it's just, just a little idea of what I wanted to do. All right, so now I'm just going to pour that on, pour this one on, I'm just going to blend it here. Like so, how are we going? <laughs> you're gonna make sure that your bench is nice and level. 
just going to go slow now, making sure that I'm not going to overflow because that would be awful. At this stage, you can tell if your bench is level or not. So you may have to put some little sticks under one side of your table. Your little I use a, a timber board here that I can put pop sticks underneath if I need to. Because this side here is higher than this side now by the looks of it. So I need to sort of put something under there. Well, I've got a little, I have actually got a little bit of resin left over. So um, I'd say three cups would have been good. See, 300, what would I say? Three and a half cups is different to three and a half, um, like when you measure it on a scale, three and a half cups weighs differently to what it um, measures. So I've got a little bit left over. That's okay, I'll just have to find something else to do with it. And I do have a project in mind that I want to use. So I'm going to give this a torch. Now with these cheap moulds, you know these, these ones I'm talking about, these sort of clear, translucent sort of moulds, um, they're pretty, I don't know if it's just because they're thin or whether they're just made differently, but they don't seem to last as long as you know the more expensive molds so make sure you don't over torch and you know fuse your silicone to um, to your resin I'm just checking this to see what my heights are like definitely need something under this side but um, what can I use what can I use I think if I use a, a stick it might be too much let me just try Actually, you know what? I've got a stick under this side. I'm just going to let's see if I can actually do this. I don't know that I can actually do this. Hang on, I just need to move you for one sec. Just move my tripod back. I'm just going to do that. See, I've got this stick under here. I'm just going to move it out of the way. Rather than lift this end up, I'm just going to take that stick away from there. <clears throat> You've got to be careful. All right, now I'm going to move you again. There we go. Whee! <laughs> don't get car sick, will you, when you're moving? All right, um, what else do I need to tell you? I'll just keep a check on that level. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to torch it again. Um, actually really surprised that I didn't use more. Lots of bubbles coming up. I'll keep torching um, over the next 10 minutes or so. Um, but basically that's it. So now I just have to wait this kind of looks sandy. I just have to wait till tomorrow now um, and we can unmold this. So you know how I was saying to you, people just pour the sand and then they pour their water and then they leave it. The problem with that is when you unmold it, you're going to have dips. So it's not going to be flat. Like I want it flat on the top, flat on the bottom. So I can actually use it as a tray. But if you just pour into that, when you unmold it, obviously the other side's going to have all the terraces and it won't work as a tray. So this is why I'm doing it this way. I'm showing you this way. <clears throat> and then you can decide which way you want to do it, I guess. Either way. Both pretty, but one more practical than the other. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm back. It's the next day. And um, it's the exciting part, the unmolding. And I've grabbed out some handles, which I'll show you in a minute once I get this out. So I've got a lovely sort of blended background here. So hopefully it's the same on the other side and it hasn't sunk because I really like that look. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get this baby out. <laughs> hopefully it's flat. Oh, gosh, we're still a bit bendy. My goodness. Okay, that's all right. I'll have to be careful. Oh, look at that nice, clean, sharp edge there, like that. I didn't think it would still be bendy. But like I said, I am using this other, other resin. It takes longer to set up. And it's actually been really cold. We got seven degrees overnight here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Seven degrees Celsius. That is, that's really cold for us. <laughs> Being up north it's pretty chilly all right so here we go pull that out hang on to that let me move that out of the way 
All right, are we ready? Here we go. Ta-da! Oh, look at that! Wow! That's so pretty. I can see little, little specks, little dots, which is, actually looks like sand, but it must have been me not maybe mixing my pigment paste in enough. Hang on, I just got to open the door. I can hear Ruby at the door. Want to come in, Ruby? Come on, baby. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> come on. Here we go. Here's little Ruby. Here she is. I don't know if you can see her. There she is. She's only tiny. At the door, wanting to come in, weren't you? All right. There you go. You're going to sit under the table. All right. So let's have a little look at this. Um. So yeah, I've got like, like I said, like little speckles. I had a very big cup though of resin. So maybe like I should have um, like mixed a little bit of resin in with the paste, like to break it up and then dispersed it. But um, actually, I actually really like that. Look at, the, look at this. Can you see this, how it's pale? I've got the sort of more creamy color there on the side and then it gets darker here. Same here, got that little bit of lightness there. Little bubbles on the side there. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be doing a flood coat over the whole top of this or if I'm only going to be filling up to this top here. Um, I think if you if you fill it just to there, um, I think what will happen is you'll see a ridge. So I'll probably have to top coat the whole thing, which means that will get covered. And then I can um, actually stick my handles on. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use these actually because of the different <clears throat> levels there. Although, although actually, you know what I could do? I could fill these and then when they set, do the top coat and stick the handles in on the top coat. That would work, wouldn't it? Now, let me show you these before I do anything else. I'm going to show you my handles that I've got. I do feel as if this got like a slight wave to it. I think it's, I think it's this. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to move that. Get one of those. Get a different one. Go back to my other one. All right. So these, these are really pretty. Look at that. So it's got this clear acrylic or plastic with the gold. So I've got two different sizes. I wasn't sure which size to use. Like whether I wanted to go all the way across. And this is the same thing in um, with the silver, and it's also a bit shorter, see? So that's that size. Probably probably that size would be better. I don't know. Don't know, don't know, don't know. What do you think? So that one goes almost to the edges, and this one obviously comes in a little bit. But once I've got all the blues in, and maybe a little bit of aqua and things, I'll see if the gold matches or if the silver matches and which side or what size I want to do. So, yeah, not sure yet, but that's what I've got. So let's move them off to the side. Now what I need to do is um, mix up my resin. And I'll show you those later. I've got something else to show you. I'll show you later. I'm going to mix up my resin. And... Um, yeah, it's, I can feel that. Actually, it's probably from, it's probably, it's probably. Because I can feel like a bump and then I can see sort of like an indent there where, where these lines are. Like I said, it's, it's you know, it's it's a very thin sort of a um, mould. But look, once, once we've covered this in resin, you're not going to notice that at all. So, um. I have got some of these in my eBay store if you guys want some. I didn't buy a lot because, um, you know, I, I can't get them very cheap. And then the shipping from um, overseas is a killer. But I do have some in my eBay store for those that would like one. And I would really appreciate your support with my little store, you know, rather than go to those big Chinese corporations, you know, those ones I'm talking about. <laughs> Come to my store. I would really appreciate that. All right, I'm going to mix up some resin. And um, I'll be back real soon. I've got my resin mixed up. I'm going back to the Platinum 360 Plus because I want to do my layers 
you know, in, in a couple of hours apart. Now, because this is my first time doing this, I'm going to do this layer and this layer now. And then when that's set enough, it doesn't have to be set set, but set enough to pour the next layer on. I'll do that one and that one. And then I'll come back and do my top coat and stick the handles in. Now, because this is my first time doing this, and I'm not sure how the colors are going to blend together, because I'm going to do darker here and lighter here. I'm not sure how they're going to blend, but you could potentially do all four, one, two, three, four, four layers, um, and then just, you know, let the colors blend, go darkest to lightest. So potentially you could do that, but because I've never done this before, I'm just going to take it slow <laughs> and um, do two layers now and then come back. So my first layer, which is my darkest, is going to be this one, the Lorez Sapphire Blue pigment paste. So that's that one there. Hopefully it'll be nice and dark. I think I might do I might do half half. Hey, let's do half half. And see how we go. Because this little this little terrace here, it's it's not very big, so it probably doesn't need a lot of color, but I do want the lighter to sort of blend into the darker a little bit. Uh, so maybe maybe two thirds, one third actually, two thirds of the darker, and then one third of the lighter one. We'll see what happens. I don't know. It's exciting though, but yeah, you know, I just don't know. Never done it before. I think seascapes are really popular, aren't they? People love doing that sort of thing. Okay, we've got that one's got more in it than that one, but probably not two-thirds more, uh, two-thirds. Take a little bit out. Okay, that's my mixing stick, so let me just clean it off. And then it's ready to go tomorrow, or oh, actually later on today for the next layer. I went and got my first COVID shot yesterday. Woohoo! This arm feels great. No problems. It was a little bit... Um, little bit kind of um, <clears throat> achy overnight but um, yeah I've, I've had worse like when I had my flu shot it was much worse so yeah that one's done and dusted got the next one in uh, three or four weeks something like that oh look at that that's a, a yummy blue so this one's going to be a pigment paste in the center the others are all going to be tints because I want them transparent it's just this first layer that I want to be um, opaque. Yep. That looks, that looks opaque, uh, I think. Mm, maybe a tiny bit more. Let me just dry the end of my stick so that I can dunk it back in the paste. And then I thought if it's not quite dark enough, I might add just a touch of black to it, like a just a couple of drops of alcohol ink maybe to darken it. Because it looks dark in here, but once it goes in here and it's only like a few millimetres thick, it might not be that dark. So I think I'll do like the first two in blues and then the next two maybe in like... A dark teal or an aqua and then a pale aqua as it's getting shallower but of course that is going to go over the top of this so whatever you do in each layer is going to come over the top of this one anyway isn't it yep all right <laughs> so that's that one done now the next one um, I'm just trying to decide what color to use I've got this one here, Lapis Blue, also from Lorez. It's a tint. That's that one there. Might use that one. And then I can save these other ones for later on. I just did a little sample there to see what they'd look like. So let's do this one. We'll just start with three drops and uh, see what that's going to look like. 
I'm going to keep it you know, quite transparent. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to do. Oh, that's a pretty blue. Look at that. That's nice and transparent, isn't it? Because I want to be able to see the terraces through the colour. All right, I think that's good. Let's go with that one. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Actually, make sure that you're still with me. Who's with me? All right, here we go. Like so. And then I think I'll pour some of this in around. This is going to be, it's my top terrace there. So let's get the top terrace covered. I hope I've made up enough resin. All right, that's my top terrace. <laughs> Um, what did I, I'll tell you how much I mix actually. Um, 125 grams of A and 25 grams of B is what I did with this one. I'll just spread that out. And then I can put some more of the darker one in the middle. And uh, the two, you know, they'll they'll blend a little bit together, which is nice. So I didn't make up as much. I've, like, remember this one had like almost a third, and that one had like two thirds of a cup ish. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. It's the first one done. Oh, look at that. Look how nice and dark that's looking. So now I'm just going to kind of drizzle a bit in. I'll come out here a bit. Go in there a bit. Because I do want to bring up the level, you know, just to cover the terraces there. And resin being resin, you know, it's going to do its own thing. It's going to blend. Hopefully look really pretty. I think I made up just enough, you guys. Look at that. Just enough. Go in there just a little bit more. Looks blue in here and then in there it looks more like a purple. <laughs> oh, gosh. I guess maybe that's because it's reacting with the this one on top. I don't know. But it does look nice and dark, so that's good. That's what you want. Gee, that was well planned. Look at that. It was a perfect amount of resin for that. All right. Now, let me just push that over. If you haven't got white enough you know for this layer don't don't worry too much because um we're going to put another layer over the top anyway so you know don't stress if you haven't got quite enough I'm just kind of giving it a little bit of a, a zhuzh here like so following those little lines I wonder why that's looking purple does that look purple to you it's purplish to me but look, it's going to change. I've got I've got another two colours to put on top of this, so it's going to change. All right, let's give it a torch, really gently. You don't have to worry about melting your mould now because your silicon mould's gone. We're just torching resin now, aren't we? Now you can understand what I mean about those people who actually poured just straight into their um, mould without unmolding it you can you can see what I mean now there's always a hair 
Okay, so now what we need to do is I just need to wait until this has um, set up enough to pour on again. Like it doesn't matter if it's still tacky, as long as you can pour your next layer on without it sinking in, um, you'll be good to go. So there we go. Last little torch. I'll come back and torch it again in a, in a few minutes. Um, so what do you think so far? What do you think so far? Hopefully it's um, hopefully it's going to look pretty, hey? Let's try and break up those kind of edges a little bit. We have more of a natural look. Oh, look, it'll do what it wants to do. It's resin. <laughs> it'll do what it wants to do. Alrighty, um, I guess that'll be me for now. Oops, I shouldn't have broken that up too much. I don't want it spreading over there. All right, stop fussing, woman. Fiddling and fussing. Righto, um, I'm going to leave it. It will keep moving and changing and, and things like that. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you soon. I'll do the next layer. I'll have to think about what colours I want to do. Hey guys, I'm back. Haven't done anything yet. I have decided I'm going to do this in a two-part video just because it's going to be a long video. So this is where I left you. Just put in the dark and that lighter one um, and then I'm going to do the next couple of layers and put the handles on and finish it off in the next video because it's just going to be too long otherwise. And that way I can put something up today for you. And then you've got someone to look forward to the next day, the finished video. Yay! <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video, okay? See you soon. Bye.